Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with another gameplay bringing you MLB The Show 21, Xbox Series X. Because of that, for those of you who are just tuning in to uh, MLB The Show, because it's the first time you can play it, because all you've been is an Xbox player, welcome. Welcome to a challenging game nonetheless. Um, but it is a very, very fun game to play. Now, I'm going to be bringing you all types of content on how to improve your skills for those who are on the Xbox, and also those who are on PlayStation. Um, so for those who are new to it on PlayStation as well, welcome. Uh, before we get into all of that and what this video is about, I want to go ahead and apologize for this video and the next upcoming videos. I will not have a webcam, and I do apologize for that. Having some issues with that, um, but hopefully I should have it fixed uh, in a couple of days. And then moving forward from the videos after after it's been made this week, we'll uh, have the webcam. Uh, with that being out of the way, we're going to be going over pinpoint pitching for this video. Uh, this is completely new to MLB The Show overall. It's, this has never been in the game. Um, it is definitely challenging, to say the least, uh, but it is going to be the most rewarding, uh, especially for those who are playing on the competitiveness, uh, playing online. You know, Pinpoint is where you're going to have the best results. Uh, it's also where you're going to have, like, probably, if you make a mistake, it's going to be a very bad mistake for you if someone can capitalize on it. But it allows you to put the ball pretty much exactly where you want to put it if you hit the three components correctly, uh, which is your timing, your release, and your accuracy. If you hit all three of those, the ball will go, generally speaking, exactly where you want it. Is it perfect? No. But it is better than um, other pitching uh, systems that are in this game. Uh, definitely better than meter, uh, and it's definitely better than pure analog, which is what I've used in the past, along with a lot of other players. So with all of that out of the way, this video does take some time to make. So if you enjoy the content, please make sure you hit the like button. Also make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell, so this way you can be notified whenever I go live or upload other videos. This way you don't miss any other content, because this is the best MLB content you're going to find. All right, let's get into it. Like I said, I'm still learning it. I believe that I have this still on uh, for practice. Rookie, I do pinpoint pitching, and I'm using strike zone. For those of you who are new to the game, um, my pitching view is strike zone. My batting view is also strike zone because it gives you the biggest um, pixels or the most pixels to see the ball for when it's coming in for you in your batting and for you to have a better precision of where you want to place the ball when you are pitching. So uh, before I do that. Uh, if you pick a pitch and you don't want to throw it, press LB to go back like I just did. Uh, as long as you hadn't started the process of throwing the pitch, you can actually back out. Over on the right-hand corner, we have the uh, right-hand side of the batter's box. We have uh, some key pieces of information. I have five pitches I'm allowed to throw, which is the four-seam fastball, the curveball, the slider, sinker, and changeup, all from top to bottom in the best to worst pitch that this pitcher can throw. And that's for any pitcher in the game itself. And that they get the stats based off how many pitches uh, this player threw um, in the past year, how successful they were, and they're updating it as we go down the line, like any other sports game. Um, we also have, above that, the energy and confidence level. Uh, as energy goes down, the weaker the pitches get. That's, I guess, pretty obvious. Uh, confidence, the higher that confidence meter is, the more accurate you're going to throw the pitches um, and the less uh, challenging this uh, pinpoint pitching meter is going to be. Um, since we're in practice, we're right up there. Uh, I've been practicing a little bit and my confidence is a little high. Typically it starts off in the middle and it can go good or go bad from there. So first we're going to start off with uh, four seam. Up in up above the batter's box, now you have a diagram, and it's telling you exactly what to do, right? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to press down on the right analog stick, and you're going to press up, trying to get that exact timing down. You don't have to match it, but like the timing of when it hits the bottom of it and when it goes up, and then you hold it until the circle, which is going to show up, uh, gets as small as it can, and then you bring it back down. So let's go over it real quick. So press down, up. It tells you you got 100% accuracy on that. There we go. Perfect, right there. So if you saw that little circle as it was getting smaller, you want to time it to where it's the smallest it can be and then bring it down and aim directly for it. So we'll do that again. So get 90, 94% on that one. And I'm late. So if the ball is late, it goes to the dirt. Or the later it is, the closer to the dirt it's going to get. If it's early, 
most of the time it's going to be floating higher than what you wanted to throw it. So I was late on that pitch. So even if you wanted to place this ball somewhere else, as you can see, that little bitty circle moves, right? You're still going to follow the diagram at the beginning the same way. So if I wanted to throw, if we had a pitcher uh, over on this side and I want to throw a high inside fastball, I'm still going to go down, up, and I'm going to aim for that circle right there. Boom. So you can still get perfect even if your accuracy is not 100%. And all that's saying is you're throwing the ball, or you 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 put the ball, um, the last bit of that that three point uh, three step process into that little icon, a little circle. So, do it again. We're gonna throw another high inside fastball, right there. See how it's early, so the ball flo floats, not in the strike zone. So if we wanted to throw, assuming that also the batter's in the same spot, a low outside fastball. 97% accuracy. There we go. Even though I'm not pinpoint accurate, it still gets in the general area. It's just not, not as accurate. So it could float. It could go in the general area. But being off a little bit when playing online uh, or playing competitively in general uh, can can be devastating. It can cost you. Oh, see, early, way early. Went 13 degrees left. Um, so this is the curveball. It's a little different, as you can see. It's still always going to give you the diagram of what to do. First, you go around, you hold it till the circle gets small, and then you come straight down to where that is. So if we have it over here, circle is there. So wherever the circle is at the end is where you're going to go. But the beginning steps are going to be the same. Right there, perfect. And even though it's perfect, because it is a curveball, you have to take into consideration any kind of uh, breaking ball is going to break and drop, or uh, it's going to go realistically where it's like, how should I put this? If, if it's a curveball, it's going to drop. If it's a slider, it might slide outside the box. So you want to make sure that you are um, putting it in a spot where if it drops, like that one just did, that it's still in a strike zone. Because that big circle at the bottom left-hand corner, the two arrows are uh, that's where it could potentially go in pinpoint that's that's generally where it's going to go they really released that one early so it floated that would be very very bad it's a hanging curve ball 92 percent accuracy late There you go, 100% accuracy. Perfect. Pretty much in the exact area that I need it. 100% accuracy, perfect timing, perfect release. As you see in the left-hand corner, uh, we have perfect pitch release. So, couldn't have been any better than that one. We got it exactly where we needed it. Alright, so now we do a slider. And you see that the, uh, the diagram changes. So we're going to go left all the way around. And then wherever the ball is, that's where we finish. So left all the way around. That was a little off. Left. Oh, 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 oh that's bad. And you don't have to rush these. Uh, of course, further up in difficulty you go, the, the more difficult this gets. But I'm not rushing that at all. And I'm getting 100% accuracy. I'm just literally taking it on the outside. My timing is just a little late. And this is where you just kind of spend a lot of time in practice putting this down. There we go. 93% accuracy. So because I wasn't 100%, it didn't go exactly where I wanted it. It went off a little bit. But I, I'm really thrilled with this pitch perfect. Um, I, I completely forgot to come down. I, I'm really, really excited about having this this year. This pure analog is a nightmare when playing uh, two-player on local.
I know plenty of people have ran it in the past. Boom, right there. The more you practice with this, obviously the better you're going to get. The sinker. I think this is one of my best pitches. 100% accuracy. I'm three hundredths of a second late. Little change up right here. And this reminds me a lot of um, Fight Night, round three. Using the right analog stick, stuff like this, throwing like a hook, uppercut. Yeah, this is this is the best one to use. Uh, if you want the most control for your ball, it is very uh, tedious to get used to. I don't want to say tedious; it's it's definitely challenging. And then, but you're gonna have the most control over the ball itself once you match master this. Ooh, that one hit the dirt, dirt. Saw it bounce back out. Another perfect. Sinker is like my favorite one to throw right now, just because how easy it is for me to hit that one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you all again for tuning in. Um, leave a comment down below, like, what's your favorite team? Uh, if you're new to MLB The Show, also let me know. Uh, again, this is on Xbox Series X. Um, we're going to learn this game together. So make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe with the notification bell, so this way you'll be notified whenever I go live or upload another video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.